In this video, we are going to be talking about the transcription and eukaryotes. There are three phases of transcription, namely initiation, elongation, and termination. In this video, we are going to focus on termination and its two possible mechanisms. But first, we'll discuss the structure of the RNA polymerase, which is the enzyme responsible for transcribing an RNA transcript from a DNA template. So at the jaw, the DNA starts to enter into the RNA polymerase, and at the bridge, the DNA is lying across the bridge as it enters into the enzyme. At the clamp, the controls movement of the DNA through the enzyme, and at the wall, it pushes the DNA upward, assisting for the opening of DNA. At the rudder, it opens the DNA from close complex to open complex, and it starts developing the DNA and RNA hybrid formation. At the NTP is where the nucleotides are moving through this pore and adding on our DNA. And at the exit is where the DNA is traveling out as it is being forced through the lid, rewinding the DNA. RNA polymerase 2 transcribes an mRNA from the DNA strand in a 5' to 3' prime direction until it gets the polyadenylation or polyase signal, which is a string of adenine nucleotides that directs the cleavage of the mRNA. About 500 to 2,000 nucleotides after the polyase signal, transcription stops and the mRNA is released. There are two models that have been proposed for transcriptional termination. The first one is called the torpedo model, which suggests that RNA polymerase II is physically removed from the DNA strand. According to this model, the region of RNA that is still being trans transcribed and downstream from the poly-A signal sequence is cleaved by an exonucleus, which is an enzyme that degrades the transcript in the 5' to 3' direction. When the exonucleus catches up to RNA polymerase II, this causes RNA polymerase II to dissociate from the DNA and cause termination. The second one is called the allosteric model. According to this model, RNA polymerase II becomes destabilized after it has transcribed the poly-A se signal sequence. Eventually, it dissociates from the DNA strand and causes termination. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> does it look weird because I'm looking like at the computer? It does, right? Stand on this. Yeah. Okay. So when I'm looking down, does it look weird? And like hold it up like. Or okay. Yeah. As long as it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Does that look good? Okay. Yeah, he's right. Okay. <laughs> So in this video, we are going to talk about transcription and eukaryotics. 